congratulations. Thank you. you said beforehand you were nervous about qualifying, but you absolutely stormed that. I was so nervous. It's just more the pressure that I was putting on myself. I wanted to be in and um, the relief and happiness and excitement that I've now got that I can go to sleep knowing I'm going is just unbelievable. It's the best feeling in the world. And I've trained four years for this moment and that's why it's so nerve wracking as it is make or break and that's was so difficult. And I was crying my eyes out last night when Tom Hatfield didn't make it. He's my best friend and he deserves it so much. And I just know that that's part and parcel of this week. People are going to be coming out happy. People are going to be coming out crying and I didn't want to be one of those that's coming out crying. And to be there with Joe is just the best feeling because I've had so many great memories with Joe and it's weird when I'm not with Joe in the call room for the 400 and it's just we're so used to each other and we help each other and we support each other so much and it's amazing to have her there again. How much of a difference does it make to you to have qualified so strongly for the games? Oh, I wasn't even bothered about the time. I don't even. I, can't, I didn't even look at what times were up there. I just saw me and Joe were one two, and then her screaming, going, "We've made it!" And I was like, "Ah!" <laughs> I didn't even pay attention. It kind of the time was completely irrelevant this me. Obviously, the time is a bit more important at the next step, which is the Olympics, and obviously the place and stuff. But for now, I just wanted that spot on that team, and that's just what I was going to do. And I went out hard. I had. I just thought, this is it. Just go for it. Put your head down. You've got nothing to lose. Just, do it. <laughs>